let's talk about the women's game. Uh, the 50-50 uh, challenge has just ended. And what is your assessment of the performances of the women in that? Yeah, so I thought, uh, you know, coming into the into that uh, challenge, the, the ladies had been off for a little bit. So I thought uh, they took a little bit of uh, a little bit of time to get into the tournament because the scores were a little bit low, especially at the start of the tournament. Uh, but I think as we went further on, that definitely improved, and especially seeing uh, uh, the the hundred in the last game as well showed that uh, obviously as the as they played a bit more, they they got better. Uh, but I would have definitely love to see a lot more runs, uh, being 50 over games. Um, for the ladies to to really start pushing for for the level that they play now, uh, but I guess now that uh, they are in the groove and they're back into it, uh, we're looking forward to seeing uh, how they do in the T20s. Seeing a couple of the teams, you look at uh, Eagles who won the title. They had three senior players, and the rest were teenagers. Really, uh, what is the what is the policy and the thinking behind that? Oh well, we, but with the women, we haven't really uh, tried to to tinker with it too much. I mean, we're still at the stage where uh, at the moment we're just trying to increase the player base uh, because previously we didn't really have uh, things like this happening for the women. We didn't have as many games, we didn't have as many tournaments and the player base was really limited. So uh, the drive right now is to at least try and get uh, a few more of the ladies involved. And I think especially the Eagles have done a really good job in uh, getting a few new players in and a few younger players in. And I think uh, they've really uh, sort of taken um, the right steps in terms of doing that. So I think with the ladies, we haven't really tried to take it with too much. Uh, and uh, obviously, the only thing we look at is to see how many senior players are there. If there's obviously too many in one team, then we might take out with it a little bit to just uh, make it a little bit more balanced from that aspect. But in terms of all the all the younger, younger girls that are coming in and all the newer players, we, we don't really uh, uh, try to get too involved in that. And of course, there have been some revelations. The young Olinda Charish is from Bindura, not your, your traditional Harare, Bulawa, your Mutare type of, uh, type of performance. She's taking a lot of wickets at the age of 14, obviously. Could, could be someone could decide, could decide whether she's for the under-19s next year or she's for the national team. The, having such stories, um, what does it do for you personally in, in as far as development? Yeah, it's obviously very encouraging and uh, like you rightfully mentioned, Bindura doesn't really produce too many players. I mean, I think two years ago we had another uh, young, young, young man, Chinaman, coming from Bindura as well. Uh, so it's actually a good story that uh, they, they seem to, to be starting to produce and produce players more regularly. Um, it's obviously a good sign in terms of what's happening there uh, developmentally and we obviously welcome that and uh, that's exactly what we look for to see uh, if we can still uh, get a few more players coming into the system uh, through the development setup and uh, through the work that uh, all the other smaller centers are doing as well. And like you rightfully mentioned, she's bowled really well and uh, for her age you don't really expect that. Uh, so it's been very refreshing and very encouraging to see uh, such skill at uh, such a young age. And uh, for the women's team, both for the under-19s and for uh, the national team, uh, what is the plan this year as, as we prepare either for tours happening this year and of course the under-19 World Cup uh, for, for women that is expected to happen next year? So we'll set up um, the under-19 setup. Uh, we, we've already got uh, the coaches in place and the selectors in place. Uh, and uh, obviously the, the centers have also started working on uh, bringing some under-19 uh, girls through and some of those have already played in the domestic setup so uh, it's, it's again very encouraging that work is already being done there in terms of getting an under-19 side uh, going and uh, in terms of the seniors uh, they were meant to have uh, another set of qualifiers in the middle of the year so that's been pushed uh, to, the, to the back of the year so for now uh, we, we're just looking at a couple of tours uh, in, the, in the first half of the year and then we'll save uh, uh, a little bit more of the thrust for towards the back end of the year when uh, they get closer to the qualifiers.